Well, good morning. It is a slow start to the day again, but we are right on top of the situation. It is exactly 9.01 a.m. local time. And that lock at Fenland Falls is supposed to stop, start operating at 9 o'clock. So generally what happens is if there's going to be boats locking down, they'll wait for them to come into the lock, put them down out. Uh, as we are locking up, we are going to have to wait for either the boats to come out of the lock or for them just simply to drop the water. If there's no boats coming through, they'll just lower the water in the lock and then allow us in. The situation this morning is there are two houseboats on the blue line plus another one over here. I think there's two, but I think one is staying and because uh, buddy's out there fishing. But I would guess that our, our dock neighbors from last night uh, far from working, <laughs> loopers, they uh, will most likely want to go through today because they had their little doggy out for a uh, this morning. So it looks like they're ready to go. So we're just going to tool around here because there's no room on the blue line for me to uh, tie up and then uh, watch the current, the waves, and wait for our turn to get in. So Anchor Girl just informed me that the red light is now flashing, which generally indicates that they're dropping the water. So that means we should be getting in there pretty soon. Now, uh, what is the plan for today? <laughs> well, as most days, there is no plan. The working idea is that we can lock through to the top side. And since I'm sleepy, just like we're dropping. Um, if there's a spot available on the top wall, we will stop there and just park it for the day. If not, we'll just carry through to wherever we get to. Park it the road. Second house bolt coming in, right hand side. Second house bolt, right hand side. It's Ryan. Adam, guys going through? Next one. There's a house boat sideways. Fellow on the channel, come ahead, left hand side. Have an awesome Look at that, another gorgeous day. Not a cloud in the sky, totally blue, not a little wisp of cloud anywhere. And zero wind and hot. The flags aren't rippling, nothing. Hopefully we can get a spot here and if we do, we'll stop, do some swimming, we'll see. Show you when we get there. <laughs> I'm off. Okay. There we go. All right, beautiful. Thank you. That is Boogaboo. That's Boogaboo. I'm just the guy that drives it. If we do stay on that uh, corner, we'll go right to the pointy part or Ben's out. This is so awesome, Bug. I'm pretty excited about this. I am. It's going to be a nice spot. I'm going swimming. Morning. 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 Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.
Yeah, yeah I'm yeah, gonna go right, right, at the end. right to the end. Right here? That's perfect. That's ideal. Thank you. Now it appears we have picked up a bunch of unwelcome hitchhikers. I don't know if the camera even pick them up. There's tiny little microscopic flies. See that? They're really, they're like less than a millimeter, like a sixteenth of an inch maybe. But they were all over the boat. And the problem with little bugs and Anchor Girl is she has a definite allergy to eye bugs. Eye bugs. Bugs, bugs. With their eyes. We were out in the sea doo one time and I was driving and a bug flew in her eye, almost blinded her. And that night when we got home, it looked like I was roundhousing her right in the left. Her face, it just was so swollen and she gets that often. So she's been sitting here for the last couple hours sneezing, sniffling, and saying, My What the eyes hell's wrong? Running eyes sore. running. Yeah. And so. Uh, she discovered that there's all these little bugs and they were all over the back of the canvas on the outside and I've just been wiping them all off inside except for those ones that I just showed you. And it's amazing how those Hi. tiny little micros... What's that? Great to watch your channel. Thank you! Filming one right now! <laughs> and you're gonna be on it. Anyways, just another shout out from a YouTube follower. Awesome. Anyway, so I'm just wiping these things down. Like I say, it's uh, it's amazing to see how uh, these tiny microscopic little creatures, I guess there's a dander or something that flop off and how they affect her eyes and she's always like that. So uh, more often than not, you'll see uh, Anchor Girl in the background either go like that or dabbing her eyes because they affect her really, really bad. More so than pollen or anything. It's little bugs. Uh, where we boat on Lake Simcoe, from the beginning of the season into July, there's definitely always bugs out in the middle of the lake. You, you'll the boat, you'll stop the boat, and I've shown you this in the past. And out of nowhere, one million three hundred thousand bugs will swarm the boat. And no matter how fast you drive, yeah, no matter how fast you drive, you just can't get away from those buggers. And right away, see, she starts with that the sniffling and the eyes and everything else. So. Um, yeah, so, yay. Bug removal, that's what I'm doing right now. Bessie? Severely.